on the property that you can buy. Speaking of property, what about the one I asked you for? Yeah, the flat is on sale for 70,000 pounds. We also have a tenature house for 90,000 pounds. Oh, that's great. Why don't we get the tenature house? Yeah, that will match you. Mm, can we do it in installments? Yeah, we can. Then I'll see to it. I'm very tired guys. I need to head home. See you guys later. Catherine, I hope the boss will hide my pack. No, oh, they really. It sounds good, but how? I'm going to complete my course on management. Then surely you may be promoted to the senior position. Okay then, why can't we have an advance party as well? Shall we go to a restaurant? Yeah, I do feel like eating something because I'm hungry. Sorry, I don't have time. We can see on another day. Okay, we are moving. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, I'm damn tired. Hey, why are you looking so tired? I've had a lot of work today. Could you please bring me some tea? Yes, definitely. And this is the lawn. Such a coffee little room and such pretty furniture. We like it, you know. Honey is the setting and is in the area. Who have you got a radio lamp? As well as a car and a piano. Why? Of course, Aunt Cecilia. You simply must have a radio lamp nowadays. And it's so nice for me when Patrick is away at Christmas. I even make his movie to the kitchen so that I can listen to it while I cook. Sit down, Aunt Cecilia. You must be tired. We will show you everything now. What do you think of our little nest, Aunt Cecilia? I think it's wonderful, my dear. The furniture, car, piano, radio. What's it? It's wonderful, really wonderful. And we owe it all to you. Yes, Patrick. That's what worrying me. Worrying you? Aunt Cecilia? Yes, that's it. I gave for a Christmas present. It was only 200 pounds, was it? I think you put 2,000 pounds. Why? No, Aunt Cecilia. What on earth? Where do you think that? Well, that's perfect. But I still don't altogether understand. This house is very lovely. But does it cost a great deal for rent? Rent? Oh no, we don't pay rent. But Patrick, if you don't pay rent, you will get turned off to the state. No, no, Aunt Cecilia. You must understand me. We don't pay rent because the house is ours. Yours? Of course, it's ours. You see, Aunt Cecilia, we realize how uneconomic it is to go on paying rent year after year when you can buy and enjoy a home of your own for just 10,000 pounds. And if you got any payments, of course. Why be Mr. Tenant when you can be Mr. Owner? I see. Yes, there's something in that. Even so, we must be getting on very well to keep our place like this. Oh, hey, Aunt Cecilia, why, when in last year we had a pile shilling rice, didn't you, Patrick? Oh, yes. That was nothing. I'm expecting them this Christmas. Patrick, I've just thought of something. That part, is it yours? Of course, it's ours. All yours? Mm, no, not exactly all. How much of it? Oh, I should say the steering wheel and one of the tires and two of the cylinders. But you see, that's the wonderful thing about it. I don't see anything wonderful about it. But there is an here. You see, although we could never buy a car outright, okay? we can enjoy all the pleasures of motoring for a mere five pounds now. And the rest by TV, Starman, I suppose. Exactly. Exactly. And what about the radio? Well, that's the... And the piano? Well, of course. And the furniture? Um, I'm afraid so. Well, no. As a matter of fact, it's that one. And the rest belongs to Mr. Page, I suppose. Yes. Well, I'm not going to say. Now tell me, how much do all these installments come to? Actually,
actually to 9,000 pounds. Good heavens, and how much will you earn? As a matter of fact, that is 8,000 pounds. But that's stupid. How can you pay 9,000 pounds out of 8,000 pounds? You see, that's very easy. You just borrow the rest of the money for the payments from the thrift and province as corporation. They are too glad to loan you any amount you like on the note of hand alone. And how do you propose to pay that back? You just pay it back in installments. Installments? Aunt Cecilia, is anything the matter? Would you like to lie down? Lie down? No, I am going to go. Oh, must you really go? I think it would be better. I'll drive you to the city. What? Travel in a car that has only one tire and two cylinders. No, thank you. I will take the bus. Well, if you think about it like that. No, I'm sorry if I sound as rude. But really, I'm shocked to find the way you are living. I never owed a penny in my head. Cash down. That's my motto. And I want you to do the same. Now look, here's a little check. I was meaning to give you anyway. Suppose you take it and pay off just one of your bills so that you can say at least one thing really belongs to you. Thank you, Aunt Cecilia, and it's very nice of you. Then now I must be going. I'll see you at the station. Goodbye, Aunt Cecilia, and thanks so much for the present. Goodbye, my dear. Five hundred pounds. Well, she is gone. What an irritable temper. Still, she did leave us a bitter account. How much was it? It was 500 pounds. Phew, that's great. We can pay off the next two months on the car with that. I am afraid we can't. Why ever not? You see, I have already sent it off for something that the caretaker has just gone to post it. Well, that's alright. Who have you sent it to? Dr. Martin. Dr. Martin? What on earth possessed you to do that? Eh, hey, now you are going to be angry with me? I'm not angry, but why waste good money on the doctor? Doctors don't expect to get paid anyway. But, but you don't understand. Understand what? Why? There's one more installment and the dog is really hard. Oh, what a blunder. Lakshadip as Patrick's brother, Shweta as Rosie's sister, Kritika as Anne Cecilia, Ramya as Catherine's colleague of Rosie, Joyce as Esther's colleague of Rosie, Murugan as Danny's friend of Patrick's, 